What on earth is happening in Norway's top league, the EHL? In a game between Frisk Aske and Sten, a fight between 33-year-old Olivier Dammalka and 18-year-old Sundra Grönle is creating tons of controversy across the whole country. After the fight, both players got match penalties and had to leave the ice. Just take a look at this headline from Norway's largest news outlet, translated, Beat opponent bloody, this is a huge scandal. The article goes on with writing, with three minutes left in the middle period in the EHL match between Stien and Frisk Aske, there was a scuffle on the ice. Frisk Aske player Olivier Dammalka, 33, threw his gloves and knocked 18-year-old Sundra Grenle to the ground. The star player was left with blood pouring from his face. It is a huge scandal if he chooses to do so, because the contract expires today. It is completely out of the question to piss off Norwegian hockey in this way, Jürgen Wahlberg commented on TV2 Play. Wahlberg obviously thinks this is horrible, naming it among the biggest scandals he has seen in Norwegian ice hockey. The coach of Stien also thinks Dan Malka went too far, stating he should have shown some respect to the youngster, claiming that the fight was not fair considering their age difference. Star coach Fredrik Johansson reacts strongly to Dan Malka's behaviour. I think it is disrespectful. It is not good advertising for Norwegian hockey. He could show enough respect to give up before it went too far. He has already had one assault this season, says Johansson to TV2. If it is true that his contract is now finished and then he runs away from here like that, it is not good. He himself realizes that it's not a fair duel and he could have shown respect, but he chose instead to turn off the light on him. It's not something you want to see, says the Stian coach. Wahlberg also claims the situation reminded him of the NHL in the 70s, which I kind of agree with. Look at these clips from the 70s. Don't you agree? However, what really blows my mind about this situation is that Gisle Edvard Ornes, chairman of Stien, says they will report this situation to the police. He said in the article that you just have to look at the discouragement, which I believe is bad translation and meant to say you have to look at the punch. He goes on to say that it is punishable under Norwegian law and that external assessments show that he is going too far. Former Norwegian national team goalie and sports manager in Frisk Aske, Vidal Wald, does not agree with Stian's taking on the fight. He said that when two players choose to throw down the gloves, they hopefully understand the consequences of that. We rarely see this in Norwegian hockey, and that is probably why it is making headlines. It's not something we encourage, but both players chose to fight. I hope and believe they understand the consequences. If we watch the fight in slow motion, we can see that both players have thrown their gloves. All hockey players know that this is a sign of a mutual agreement between the two players, that both want to fight. For all we know, Dan Malka might not have known that his opponent was no more than 18. And even though he is young, he plays in the Norwegian top league. He understands the risks involved in playing. The head coach of Frisk Asker, Roy Johansson, does not agree with Stian's taking either. He states that both players chose to throw their gloves and fight. He also points out that Grönle threw his gloves first. He wishes the youngster a quick recovery, hoping that he does not end up with any long-term injuries. It will be exciting to cover the story further and see how the Norwegian justice system handles this situation. We have never seen a situation like this being handled in court before, have we? Let us know how you think the situation will turn out for the Frisk Asker player, Dan Malka.